Hello, welcome to Vinyan Flow. Meet me on your back. Supta Baddha Konasana, supine bound angle pose. Soles of your feet together, knees drifting apart, hands at your side or one on your abdomen, the other on your heart. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it go. Begin to slow your inhales and your exhales. Bring your knees back together and into your chest. Supine twist to the right. Shift your hips to the left. Drop your knees to the right. Hands can be by your side or out in the T. Option to look over your left shoulder if it feels okay in your neck. Take a deep breath in through your side body. Let it go. See if you can ground your left shoulder down into your mat. Bring your knees back to center. Supine twist to the left. Shift your hips to the right. Drop your knees to the left. Option to look over your right shoulder this time. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Bring your knees back to center and into your chest. Give them a hug. Rock back and forth, side to side. Give your lower spine a massage. Begin to rock forward and back until you're up through seated and meet me on tabletop. Knees under your hips, wrists under your shoulders, long neutral spine by reaching your sit bones to the back of the room and the crown of your head to the front of the room. Cat cow tilts. Inhale, drop your belly, reach your chest forward, look up. Exhale, push away from your mat, rounding your back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. One more time. Exhale, push away from the mat. On your next inhale, meet me in table. Tuck your toes. Push back. Downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet if it's the first down dog of the day. Slightly pigeon toed gaze between your ankles. Look to your fingers, see if they're evenly distant apart. Index fingers point to the front of the room. Look forward, step to the top of your mat. Toe heel your feet two fists apart for ragdoll. Take a deep bend in your knees, grab opposite elbows, let your neck go. Sway side to side if it feels okay in your lower back. Release your hands to your mat. Toe heel your feet back together. Inhale, halfway lift. Sit bones to the back of the room, crown of your head to the front, long neutral spine parallel with the floor. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reach your fingertips to the sky, extended mountain. Exhale, your hands to heart center. Fingertips to the sky. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Plant your hands on your mat as you step back to Dandasana, high plank. Wrists under your shoulders. Back neutral with the floor. Drop your knees to your mat and lower all the way down. Bhujangasana, baby cobra. Tops of your feet on your mat. Engage your thighs, hands under your shoulders. Peel your chest off your mat and lower down. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Look forward, step forward. Halfway lift, forward fold. 
Inhale, extended mountain, fingertips up. Exhale, hinging at your hips, forward fold. Halfway lift, plant your hands, step back. High to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Bhujangasana, baby cobra, or Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. If you choose upward facing dog, peel your thighs off your mat, wrists under your shoulders, and ensure there's no crunching in your lower back. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Look forward, step forward. Halfway lift, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, squat low, sweep high, send your sit bones to your mat, reach your fingertips to the sky, engage your thighs. Option for cactus arms if you're tight through your shoulders. Elbows behind your back, draw your shoulder blades together, palms out. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step forward, right foot, warrior one. Heel to heel alignment, back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Front knee is over your front ankle, reaching your fingertips to the sky to lengthen. Inhale here. As you exhale, fold forward, plant your hands, step back, high to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, second side, left foot steps forward, heel to heel alignment, reach up, inhale, lengthen, exhale your shoulders away from your ears. Square your hips to the front of the room. Deep breath in. Fold forward. Plant your hands. Step back. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Look forward. Step forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, squat low, sweep high. Option for cactus arms. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Step back. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one, right foot steps forward. Fingertips shoot up. Bring your hands through heart center and open up for warrior two. Square your hips to the side, heel to arch alignment. Your gaze is over your front fingertips. Flip your front palm. Draw your back arm down your back leg to exalt your warrior. An extended side angle, right forearm to your right thigh. Left arm reaches to the sky. Option to look up to your fingertips by taking a slight tuck in your chin. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look down. Plant your hands. Step back. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one, left foot steps forward. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, your hands through heart center. Open up warrior two, second side. Gaze over your front fingertips, flip your palm, exalt your warrior. Come forward, extended side angle, left forearm to your left thigh, right fingertips to the sky, look up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, look to your mat. Step back, high to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal that out. Catch your breath.
Anjaniasana crescent lunge. Right foot steps forward, train track your legs, meaning there's a wide enough stance between your feet, you have good balance. Front knee over your front ankle, back toes under your back heel. Fingers shoot up. Take a deep breath to lengthen. And as you exhale, bring your hands through heart center and twist to the right. Left tricep to your right thigh, push through your palms to stack your shoulders. Option to drop your back knee to open more through your left hip. Take a deep breath in. Look to your mat. Exhale as you step back to downward facing dog. Crescent lunge second side, left foot steps forward. Train track your legs. Shoot your fingertips up to the sky. Option remains to drop your back knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale your hands through heart center and twist to the left. Right tricep to your left thigh. Push through your palms to stack your shoulders and take a slight tuck in your chin. Engage your core. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, look to your mat, step back, downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal out the work we just did. Take any movement you need. And then drop to your knees to meet me in child's pose. Knees can be together or wide apart. Send your sit bones to your heels and walk your hands out in front of you. Connect your forehead with the floor. You can use any props you need, perhaps a bolster under your chest or a block under your head. We'll be here for a couple minutes. Take a deep breath in through your back body. Exhale your heart to your mat. Use this pose to send any breath and love to any places holding some extra tension in your body. Begin to lengthen your inhales and your exhales as we settle into the more yin part of our practice. Very slowly, begin to walk your fingertips back towards your body and take any movement you need as you come out of this pose. When you're ready, meet me in table for a toe squat. Curl your toes under your heels, bringing your knees together. If this is intense enough, feel free to stay here. If you need a little bit more sensation, walk your fingertips back to sit on your heels. Keep your spine straight and long. and breathe here. Toe squat is a very intense posture. So if at any time you need to walk your fingertips out, feel free. We won't be here too long. your eyes are open, soften your gaze. And if they're closed, soften the muscles around your eyelids. 
take a few final breaths. And gently, slowly, begin to walk your fingertips forward. Keep your toes curled. And then one foot at a time, uncurl each set of toes. Take any movement you need. Some people like to pitter-patter their feet on the top of the floor. Some people like to roll their ankles into circles. When you're ready, sit up with me for swan. Swan is the yin version of pigeon. Take your right knee to your right elbow and cross your leg in front of you. Take a gentle flex in your right foot and walk your back leg, your left leg behind you. Sit up straight and tall. Take a deep breath to lengthen. And then gently walk your hands out in front of you. Maybe don't take your fullest expression. And then gently let your body open up. Use any props you need. Add any props you need. Pigeon is another intense pose. So if anything comes up here, try to observe it without drama, without fuss. Choose to follow it or choose to let it go. Remember to breathe. Very, very slowly walk your hands back up towards your body. Take a slight lean to your right side to come out of the pose. Take any movement you need and set up for the second side. Bring your left knee to your left elbow, cross your left leg in front of you. Take a gentle flex in your left foot and walk your back, your right leg behind you. Inhale, lengthen and exhale to fold forward. Feel free to take a block under your head or a bolster under your chest. We'll be here for a minute or so. Check in to see if this side feels any different from the last. If it does, appreciate it. See if you're clenching through your jaw. Our hips mirror our jaws. If you are, just gently bring the tip of your tongue away from the roof of your mouth to rest behind your back bottom teeth. Breathe here. Now very, very slowly, begin to bring your fingertips back towards your body to come out of the pose. Lean over to your left side. Take any movement you need. And then meet me on our back. Cat pulling its tail. Take fetal position on your right side by, by cradling your head in your right arm and bringing your knees into your chest. Take your left leg out behind you, your bottom leg, and reach for your foot. If you can't reach for your foot, grab a strap or let it be where it is. Keep your left leg, your top leg, as it is, and open your chest to the ceiling. Stretch your right arm out to the side in a T 
and ground your left shoulder down to your mat. Take a deep breath into this twist. Let it all go. See if you can make a little bit of extra room in your body. If your eyes are open, soften your gaze. Take a deep breath in. Let it go through your mouth. Gently release your back foot. Take any movement you need. And then switch to the second side. Begin with fetal position on your left. Take your left leg out behind you. Reach for your foot with your right arm. Bring your left arm out to a T. And roll your chest open to the ceiling, grounding your right shoulder down into your mat. As you breathe into this twist, Feel how it massages the organs of your body. Feel it how it creates a little extra space. Settle in. If you're fidgeting, see if you can find a bit of stillness in these final breaths in the posture. Carefully release your foot. Take any movement you need. When you're ready, we'll set up for Viparite Karani waterfall pose. Grab a cushion, a flamingo cushion like me, <laughs> or a block, and place it under your sacrum. Spot just above your tailbone. It is a sweet spot, so if you don't get it on the first try, try again. When you're comfortable, lift one foot at a time, flexing your feet to be parallel with the ceiling. Arms out by your sides in this gentle inversion. Play around with your feet. It's not very often they get to be this weightless. Sometimes it feels nice to sway them side to side, back and forth. Waterfall is one of my favorite poses. It's said to give us a different perspective when we're in an inversion. Take a few more breaths to enjoy this posture. On your next exhale, take one foot at a time to bring your toes to touch your mat and remove your block or flamingo cushion and settle in for Shavasana, final resting pose. Take up as much space as you need. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.